Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update for my whole collection for Japan and I'm really excited to say that I have progress to show you guys and I have an empty. I hit my goal on one item so I'm going to swap that out with another product. I don't have my phone with me right now because it is charging in another room so let's try the random.org on my computer. Let me show you the empty I have and that is on an eyeshadow. I'm really excited. I have been working on this solely for like three months straight. It is the shadow from the Paulina palette from Blush Tribe and I was working on Aubergine. Can you see that? That is pan. That was my goal. I'm really really excited. It is looking like it is a dip and it is sticking for pan but really when you have a dip you really just want to work on that point and I have used it in my crease so with a fluffy brush. I have used it with a smaller pencil brush on my lower lash line. I have used an eyeliner brush so that is why maybe it is digging for pan in that way but I have been setting my black liner with that shade so it's kind of a dark dark purple and I have been really enjoying that so yeah I have a pan on this item and I'm really excited about it so I'm going to choose a new product for this but let me show you the items that I have in this project and my progress overall before we choose a new product let me talk about the products that I don't have uh, written down on a uh, paper so the first one I'm going to talk about is my W7 Metal Pout Matte Lip Gloss. And my goal was to finish this, but I really don't know if I want to. I really don't want to wear it anymore. So I have considered swapping it out. Well, you can see the windows in the product, which is pretty exciting. And that to me shows that I have used it a bunch. So. I'm considering it. I will uh, make up my mind in the end of the video. The thing is that I really want to hit my goals that I set for myself. Some of them are really ambitious and the other side of me um, is really bored so I want to switch it up and I have used that for like three months now so I feel it's okay. I don't know how many times I have used it but maybe that is going to be a goal from now on that I just set a t uh, amount of days or times I want to wear it. I have a hard time knowing how to keep track of that. If you guys have an idea of how to track that kind of uh, pattern uh, in a project pen please let me know how. Then I have the NYX Vivid Brights eyeliner in Vivid Violet. It is a purple liquid eyeliner. I'm so close as calling this done because it is every time I apply it, if it is a wing or just on my lash line, you know, upper lash line, it's drying down, but it's drying down to the point where it is peeling and crumbling off my eyelids. I don't touch my eyeliner throughout the day, so that is not it. I just think it is getting dry and maybe it's getting a little bit old. I love the color. It is a beautiful purple shade. It pairs really nicely with the purple in the Paulina palette or just the covery eyeshadows that I have been wearing. Um, so yeah, um, maybe that is done by next update even though I know there's a lot of product in it still. I really haven't decided yet. We have my blush from the Balm. It is the Fred Boy blush. I love this one. I use it every single time I use my makeup. I have maybe used another blush one or two times in the past few months. And you can't really see anything. Maybe you can see a slight dip in the product, but it's not really amazing. Uh, goes right there. I'm using it. I love it. But it's really it's kind of frustrating not to see progress, but... I know I'm using it and sometimes I'm heavy handed and sometimes I'm not. It really depends on what look I'm going for. But yeah, that's that. Then we have a single shadow from Maybelline and this is the shadow called Copper Fist. I think it's a mono eyeshadow if I'm not wrong. I don't have amazing progress on it. Maybe the ring is a little bit bigger here in the bottom, you know. The thing is, I'm not a big fan of this eyeshadow. It does not perform as a, a regular shimmer shadow. It's very chunky and sheer. 
and that is not my cup of tea <laughs> with an eyeshadow so i guess it's like a metallic eyeshadow but it's not it's not very creamy you know maybe it's old maybe it's not i really don't know um that was once where i wore this on top of a white eyeshadow base from nyx and it was crumbling off my eyelids before I even were done with my makeup. Yeah, and it was no matter what base I used, this would crumble. So I'm not the biggest fan of this. So I don't know how to use it, to be honest. I'm not reaching for it because of it, uh, it's crumbling off my eye right after I have applied it. So it's just a struggle and a pain. So, yeah. Here I have my Catrice white eyeshadow in here in eyes wide open um throughout this month it has been crumbling off <laughs> in the pan and i need to repress it now this is going to be repressed by next update for sure and then i can use it i really love this white eyeshadow and it's really nice but I, i'm really afraid to use it because i just touched up my makeup and that big chunk right there uh, came loose so this is going to be repressed for next update maybe i'm just going to repress it in this powder compact because it's really really hard to use um, and there's not really room in my smaller c palette because i'm working on these items right now so yeah then we have four items that i'm going to show you on this piece of paper the only one that I don't have progress on is my red lipstick from W7. It is the Metallic Mattes in Neptune. I have not worn this one single time. I have swatched it in a video that should have gone up last week, but it's not. So It is the Red Libby Collection video. It is uh, exporting on my computer right now, so yeah, it should be up when this is up. So that is the only time I have used it and that is only one swipe, so that does not really count. The one with the most progress is my e.l.f. lipstick in Fairy Fuchsia. It is the one that I have on my lips right now. I really really love it and I actually got a compliment on it today and on my dress that I'm wearing from Ichi. I'm, I'm obsessed. It's really nice. So this is the progress that I have on that lipstick right there. It's not a lot because I have been really working on the NYX Softmatte Lip Cream. So, yeah, I know this is easy to go through. It's not a hard product for me at all because that is all I have left. But I have just not been focusing on this. Sometimes I use this in the morning and then I touch up with the NYX one. Because it's kind of the same color. That is my strategy. But it's, maybe it's a bad one. I don't really know. Then we have the W7 Double Prime Lips and Brows Duo Primer. Last time I said maybe I could use this in my brows. But I simply just forget. I want to use it before I go in with the color in my brows. I have used it a few times on my lips. It's really here and there because I forget the step because it's not a part of my routine. Yeah, I only have one lip primer, luckily. That is the small, small amount of progress I have for this month. It's not a lot because I only used it like four, four times maybe. I need to get it into my routine, but it's really hard when you don't have it in your routine to begin with. I finally have some progress and a new line for you guys. This is the NYX Hologram 3D Eyeshadow Stick in pink. This right here. And it is the one I have in my inner corners. And I have that in my inner corner almost every single day actually. And it has a lot of product still. But as you can see it is kind of smashed. When I received it in the mail it was... Uh, loose so yeah so it's not very steady <laughs> and it's very fragile but i love it for my inner corners it doesn't go um, extremely fast but i don't really mind but that is the teeny teeny amount of progress i think the reason that it's not going down because I use it every single time i use my makeup it is because i use it uh, on the side of this stick and not on the top so i guess that is why I don't have a lot of progress. That means I am going to roll in a new product for the 
Paulina palette and um, yeah I think I'm going to work on some of the products for one more month and then I'm going to see how I feel about them if I want to swish them out or something so let's see if we can do it like this so I am clicking generate and I have 365 items in my spreadsheet and that is everything in my collection. So I got 228. Zoom you out. And uh, let's see what that is in my spreadsheet. Oh, that is a red lip liner. And I think that is going to go well with the red lipstick. So I'm just going to get that and fix the lightning. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. But I'll be right back. I have gotten the red lip liner. It is the W7 Kiss and Gel Soft Gel Lip Liner. And this is brand, brand new. Brand, brand new. I swatched it once or twice. And again, it was in the Red Lippy collection. That is the color. And this is a lip liner that you have to sharpen. To be honest, it's not my favorite. A lip liner from W7 so I'm really excited to be working on it to get it kind of out of my collection I have no idea how much product there is in this but loud rude it doesn't look like you need to sharpen it but it's not a twist up so yeah exciting that is my new product and the products that I have progress on I hope you guys enjoyed this update and I forgot to credit Becky Loves Kanga in the intro and Alexi, but I will have those two ladies listed down below because I was inspired of these two ladies to do this project, of course, because Becky created it and then I just watched her and then Alexandra did it and then I was just like, I need to do it. And then when I uploaded my intro to this project, I... Uh, got in contact with Emily and Sarah and they are doing it as a collab so I hope you guys are going to check out the four ladies they are lovely you would love their content if you love mine and yeah until my next update or video <laughs> wow uh, I hope you're doing well and uh, yeah take care bye I'm so awkward I'm sorry love you guys